Welcome to another episode of your favorite show, The Field of Play. My name is Ellie, and today we are having a quick look at the Bet Power Premier League match week six. Kindly remember to subscribe to all our social media platforms at Field of Play GH on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hi, people. Welcome back. Now, let's have a quick look at the results for March week six. Now, Accra Lions were beaten three goals to one by R2U, and Dreams FC beat Mediama 2 1. Hearts of Folk played a goalless draw with Samatex. Now, Beijing United beat Brecum Chelsea by two goals to nil, and Sotroma beat Legon Cities by two goals to nil. Nations played a 2-2 draw with Kumasi Asante Protocol. Indiana Stars beat the Crown Great Olympics by three goals to one. All right, people. So let's have a look at the Nations FC versus Kumasi Asante Protocol match. We ended in a 2-2 draw. I mean, this was a very, very difficult game for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and at the point, they took the lead and we all thought they were going to win. Now, the match was played at the Kwamiche Sports Complex, and this was a local rival, the first time these two teams are meeting in the Ghana Premier League. And fortunately for Nations FC, Amidu Diara came up with a beautiful goal in the 50th minute of the game. Now, taking the lead for his team, and they were very excited. At this point, the Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans were fuming because they couldn't understand why their team had fallen behind to Nations FC. So the match progressed and in the 88th minute, Stevie Makuela gave Kumasi Asante Kotoko the equalizer. At this point, the supporters started showing some excitement for their team and the match progressed with much, much pace. I mean, it was very energetic with teams coming forth to try to get the win in this particular game. But fortunately for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they got their last goal in the 92nd minute of the game. At this point, we all thought the game was over because the goal came in very late on. Now, Michael Che, Jaminez's goal in the 92nd minute gave Kumasi Asante Kotoko the lead in this game and the fans were excited. Now, this very late on in the game, we all thought that was it for Nations FC. But the game progressed into injury time, extra time. Amidu Diara again got the penalty and slotted the ball in the back of the net. Now, at this point, the supporters were very, very annoyed and they started putting things onto the field which sort of stopped play for a while. But the, the player stepped up and took the penalty, making it 2-2 for this particular game. All right, let's have a look at the game. It's the first Ashanti Derby match here at the Dr. Kwame Chase Sports Complex. And this afternoon, league debutants, Nations Football Club, welcome us San Tikotoko in a highly anticipated match day six fixture. And a, and a third home match for Nations FC. As Sante Kotoko in their traditional all red outfit, as they come out onto the field amidst the applause from uh, both sets of fans, looking forward to a very, very interesting match. A match that should see the best out of these two teams for 90 minutes. It's at action stations here. As we begin the game, Kotoko will be playing from left to right. Nurudin and uh, Henry Ansu, as usual, they will be the forceful pair in the heart of defense for Kotoko. As a long ball, Simpson will find solicit goalkeeper Robin. Kotoko come forward. Shot on target by Sharif. That was close. Agonizingly close. Both sides still yet to settle in the game. It's just seven minutes gone in the first half. But nations are coming forward with more ideas. The nations have their eye on the ball. They get away out of trouble. Butre gives way. The pass is laid on nicely to the side. Diara. The pass is laid on nicely. Emmanuel Ajiman. Seems to be coasting away from the ball. He walks back towards it. It's a drive from the, the back. That was a brilliant one for Henry Hansu. And look at the strike. He took a deflection on the way through. Aqua. Nafiu now. 
and he gets it a decent cross. Timely clearance once again. Henry did very well to get that clearance, but his partner, Mohamed Yusuf Nourudin. Nations will come forward. Here's Achiman now. Through the middle. Very Mabar has it. The referee's whistle had gone. And uh, referee's whistle. 30 minutes played in the first half. Kotoko seemed to be getting the better of the exchanges. Lovely switch there. Through the middle. Oh, it should clear out. Dunlad on duty. Free kick is on. It's swanging nicely. Oh! It's picked up in midfield, but Kotoko have opportunities. Lumpty. Figures he'll try one for himself. Nations come forward. This looks good. Nafu. He's got support waiting in the middle. A complete miscue. No. He took his time. He's on mark, completely on mark. And he has a very good view of the position of goalkeeper Ibrahim Dalak. But his price goes over the bar. But you see, and that's why it's when I got to go through the middle. Oh, goalkeeper very well to get. It is an opportunity for Kalu Watawa in between the two central defenders. He still manages to get long throw by Dunlap straight into nation's territory. Kadri signals the end of the first half. And the heavens open up. We are underway for the second half. As Nations Football Club who are playing from left to right. In their traditional all red outfits. Yeah, another of those games which was nearly marred by the red. The corner kick is on it! Nation Pepsi in the right place at the right time! Out of nothing! Situation. That is the breakthrough for the home team. That's Tammy Dudia. Look at that term. Um, the time. Vienna Stars were leading a private Olympics by two goals to one. I guess that game has come to a halt. And another opportunity! Oh, this time it's Dan Lad to the rescue. But Nations FC still putting the pressure on their opponents. Prince Aqua to the near side. Yes, Nafiu now. Nafiu last. Nafiu. Manages to get the best out of his marker. Oh, another wonderful save from Dan Lad Ibrahim. He's doing a start, and uh. definitely this is a game that he must show something to open. He's just creating more opportunities as they come forward. A shot on target again. Went bad save from Dan Lad. And take a look at the heading situation. Seem to have uh, missed something anyway. Because we'll have an uh, advantage of a free kick. It's on Gaston Echepong. Blocked by uh, goalkeeper. Oh! Goalkeeper tested twice and eventually. And this time around, Kadu Atara did not make any mistakes. Two times, Rabin made the save. He got that bet. Third attempt is definitely not going to. Get that one. Steven Mukwala had a final contact. Watara took it and Mukwala Dezi had a final contact. And it's Absolutely. But they all left him idle. Absolutely. But they got to the advantage. 
world-class composure, world-class finish from the substitutes, and what a moment for Asante Kotoko. He was trying to bring down Michael Yabua. And was that a clutch there? Chance for Nation! A deal for the penalty, it definitely will hold. That team Patrick. Crucial moment in the last minute. Penalty for the home team. Look at that glorious chance, glorious opportunity resulting in that penalty. Dallas comes out, he goes to get the firm catch. Now look at the rebound. Clarence was made. Nephew with that particular strike. And Nana Bey Amoa. He fails to catch the ball. Now Nephew with that strike. And this is where the handball incident was. Because on this occasion, Ansu cleared it. Absolutely. Another one. Now we have a better view of it. That is Here we go. Penalty for Nations FC. Yara is ready and he goes one, two, three, picks his spot. And Nation are back in the game. And now he took it. Brilliant conversion. No, no, nicely done. Yes, absolutely. The power behind it, the confidence behind it. He sends Ibrahim Dalat completely the wrong way. And Prince, look at the messages. Things well, still being thrown. Nations FC will still keep their home invincibility in check. As referee brings the match to an end. After lots of actions, lots of back and forth, it finally ends to pull a piece. Nations FC 2, Asante Kotoko 2. Alright, so let's have a look at the Pando Hearts of Lions match versus BBNE Gold Stars. Now, this match was played all the way in BBNE at Downwards Park. It was a very, very difficult match. So, so the goals came in in the late part of the first half and the second half. Now, the first half sort of progressed steadily with both teams trying to feel each other out, out and get an advantage of the play. But they weren't able to score. And Alex Asso got the opportunity in the last minute of the second half to put the BNE goal stars one goal up front. So we came back to the second half and again the BNE goal stars added another goal to the Atali. Now this goal was scored by McCarthy just nine minutes into the start of the second half. So at this point the BNE goal stars were sitting comfortably on top of the game with two, two clear goals. Now Pando Hearts of Lions have done very well in this season's Ghana Premier League and yet again they decided not to sit down but to put in the work and they came back fighting very strong. Two minutes after they considered their second goal, Yakubu pulled one back for Hearts of Lions. Now the game progressed on steadily at this point in time with Bibiani Gold Star still having an advantage of a 2-1. Now, just before the end of the game, in the 72nd minute of the game, Captain Aban pulled one back for Pando Hearts of Lions, making it 2-2 in this particular game. Now, this is a very good result for Pando Hearts of Lions. And Abdul Fatah Salufu, their trainer, is very happy about the performances the boys put up in this particular game. Let's have a look at the game. Hello everyone and welcome to the Duns Park in Bibiani where this afternoon Bibiani Gold Stars are matching up against Hearts of Lions in a match day six encounter. An encounter that Hearts of Lions are looking forward to with relish in terms of the fact that they are yet to pick up points, away points or win in the season so far. Four draws out of four match day games. Heart of Lions have a game in hand but for Bibiani Gold Stars they're coming into this game Looking good and strong. And there we go. It's a kickstart here. And it's the home side. The BNE Gold Stars who are playing from uh, left to right. We're going to see a lot of forceful run, especially from defense. And trust Odai to do that. Prince Kwabna will be coming in with a cutting run from the uh, flank. Ball in. It's an opportunity for Heart of Lions. We saw that mistake at the Sunyani Coronation Park against Bofo Kotano. And this time around, he misses that clearance completely. Kamara. Nicely pleased for Yaya Draman. Can he 
to go around Bismarck, he rather sends in the cross. There's pressure. The goalkeeper deals with it. Flag was already up. Good recovery by Bibiani now through the middle. Here's up here. It looks good. Alex Asso got to the ball very square. That would have been a very good opportunity. Time for Alex Asso to have first down. That was a great ball in the box. And the first start from Alex Asso was absolutely brilliant. He goes inside. Through the middle. That's a lovely flick there. Prince Kopna. They had to clear the very, very last minute out of Lions. Prince Usu Kwapna. Cross was long, but kept in play by Alex Asso. Good play. And now they're trying to cut through. Odai brought down. Here comes the free kick. Drilled in solidly. Straight in front of the goalkeeper. Drops the ball in front of Alex Asso. He registers his first goal of the Ghana Premier League. For Bibiani Gold Stars. Always talk about this man, Alex Sasso. His work rate, the energy he brings into this team, Bibiani Gold Stars, throughout the season. And what a goal that delivery from Apia Makati. Just look at that one. Perfect one. It goes through the wall. The save was made by goalkeeper Thomas Osai. He's unable to make a firm catch. And Alex Asso, right place, right time. To pounce onto that ball. Attacks the rebound. And it's an easy finish for Alex Asso. Always and obviously, it would be a very good finish for the BNE Gold Stars. Push over now, out of line. The ball has been taken away nicely. Good work done by Apia McCarthy. Now, here's Roland Frempong. Frimpong goes down, trying to attract the sympathy of the referee. Referee would have none of it. And so Heart of Lions have the advantage as they come forward now. Long ball by Aban. Down goes uh, Jose. Deals with it nicely. Menu came on in the first half for Ampim Da Costa. Heart of Lions trying to find their way, meandering their way through. Does well! To turn and deliver that drive. Chrissy Pong came close. Brilliant play from Chrissy Pong. Dances around the players of Ghostas and they are making sure that they don't commit any foul against Chrissy Pong. Yes, Apia McCarthy. It's a daring run forward now. He's pushed from behind and that was clear. Right under the eagle eyes. Pierre McCarthy, as usual, is behind the ball. Can he bend it around the wall? He does! Oh! Easy does it! He knew exactly what he was doing. Picked his foot, went around the wall, and he's writing his name in glory. Pierre McCarthy. McCarthy has a reputation for scoring Free kick goes, brilliant free kick goes. Apia Makati, he did it at Ashanti Gold and he brought that quality to Bibiani. Gold stars, look at that. Look at that one. Apia Makati, brilliant. And he leaves goalkeeper Vincent Anani, no chance. He picks the top right corner of the goal of Pando Heart of Lion. That was quite, quite brilliant from Apia Makati. Consecutive free kick goes for. Goal stars now. He did it against the Ultimale United Prince and now another freaky go from Makati. Now he's deep in the walls of uh, Enim and Co as they come forward for Heart of Lions. Let's see whether we, they can take some advantages and opportunities there. The ball is crossed into the 18-yard box. It's an opportunity to get back into the game. Oh! But this should be it! Eventually Heart of Lions get the ball into the net for the very first time. Mustafa Yakubu. From the visitors. Terrific response. Forest thinking. Players of Tando Heart of Lions. They know definitely they have to score. That delivery from Adeni Boateng. Good one. Good save by goalkeeper Yao Ose. But the rebound.
from Mustafa Yakubu went at the back of the net. Great play. But it is this delivery from Ajeni Boateng. And that strike from Jesse, number 36 yard down. So, and that's saved by goalkeeper Yao Ose. But then the rebound from Yakubu. He was at the right place at the right time. Good goal by Yakubu. Held him nicely, drilled him. Yao went down. And then a big reaction from Arthur Fly on their back in the game. But at the start of the game, we did say that Heart of Lions are the draw. Absolutely, absolutely. You can see from the face of Yaose, he left, he, he left the team down. He's not able to deal with it. But I talk about the confidence of Heart of Lions when they go for it. Look at that strike, the rebound. Yaose failed to deal with it at the first attempt. And Kaman was at the right place at the right time. Here's Appel. Appel gets it through. Goalkeeper came out nicely. On an opportunity, Sadat. And then drilled from behind by Owusu Banaini. What a relief for Art of Lions. Good delivery for him. Emmanuel Adai into the box. Vincent Tanani comes out, completely misses the ball. Now Sadat pitches up, but he has no space to shoot. So, replay of that particular chance for Ghost Stars. Sadat was involved, located. Ball cleared out. Referee was very close to the action. So look at that one, Sadat. First touch, he does very well. Still with possession in the box. He located Amopoy again, and he goes. He delivered that. That was quite close. Seems to be the on. Drilled well over the top. Sent it by Busumche. Can't get a clear header on target. Out of Lions will say thank you very much. Akbenyega and Go can't go too far because Julian Nunu has brought proceedings to an end here at the Duns Park in Bibiani. It's another draw for Heart of Lions. The draw experts. Fifth draw in succession. They still have a game in hand, though, against Accra Hearts of Folk. But it's the first time that Bibiani Gold Stars are picking up just a point at home. Full-time score here at the Bibiani Dance Park is Bibiani Gold Stars 2, Heart of Lions 2. Alright, so that was a quick look at the Bibiani Gold Stars versus Mando Hearts of Lions game, which ended 2-2 at the Dance Park. Now, let's have a quick look at the table, the standing of the Ghana Premier League table after match week 6. We have Mr. Choman sitting on top of the league table with 10 points, followed by Samatex in 2nd place with also 10 points, Bafako Tano in 3rd place with 10 points, RTU in 4th place with 10 points, Indiana Stars in 5th place with 9 points, Accra Great Olympics in 6th place with 9 points. Kumasi Asante Kotoko in 7th place with 9 points. Bibeni Gold Stars in 8th place with 8 points. Legon Cities in 9th place with 8 points. Dreams FC in 10th place with 8 points. Brecum Chelsea in 11th place with 7 points. Bicham United 12th position on the league table with 7 points. Kerala United 13th on the league table with 6 points. Nations FC 14th positions on the league table with 5 points. Bando Hearts of Lions 15th position on the league table with 5 points. And Accra Hearts of Lions, Accra Hearts of 4, 16th position on the league table with 5 points. Followed by Accra Lions 17th position on the league table with 5 points. And at the bottom of the table we have Mediema with four points lying on the 18th position on the league table all right guys so this was a quick look at the ghana premier league table thank you for watching today's episode of filled up play with me my name is ellie kindly remember to subscribe to all our social media platforms at filled up play gh on youtube instagram and tiktok see you next time bye bye